Hello ladies and gentlemen from all over the world, I'm Wale coming to you live again on this um, way, on this um, topic called practical ways to help poor people with, uh, with little or no money. Practical ways to help poor people with little or no money. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to know that on this particular series, that is part two, about to people without money, we'll be talking about um, diligence. Diligence. Bible say that have you ever seen a man diligent in his business? He will sit before king and not me men. Refer to my previous video. I've already talked about um, how we will help poor people. Now I'm talking about how poor people can receive our help and how we will too, we help them again interchangeably. I'm talking about all roundly. If you don't, if you are not willing to work, anybody that help you, the work will go drown the drain. Anybody that help you, you know, talent was given to some people and want took the talent when to bury it and that was how he was collected the, the talent was collected from him and he went home useless and the bible said that he was cast into outer darkness ladies and gentlemen if you want help you will be ready to walk you will be ready to walk god is working jesus christ is working everybody is working if you want help you will be willing to work the question now is which kind of work the good news about this channel is that we are going to tell you or i am going to tell you the kind of work that you will do and that work that you will do is called digital work like i said yesterday if you have data if you are watching me that means you have data you have android phone those two things if you are ready to work i will teach you digital work and that is what we want to do we have started yesterday Yesterday we started with what is called freelancing and definition. Today we want to go into what is called e-commerce. We have started the real deal, e-commerce. So today we have a, a, a an animation video that will be explaining to us what is e-commerce, type of e-commerce, e and how to operate it, everything. Type of e-commerce, everything. We are going to be watching it. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are on TikTok, go to Oye Konlu Wale TV. Go and follow me. You will see the video there, clean, clear. Go to Yekonlu Wale TV. Go and follow me there. You will see the video there. We will not be displaying the video here. We will be displaying the video of the e-commerce. The e-commerce that I have selected and picked. That will be easy for you. That will be easy for me. Ladies and gentlemen, i like you to know that this is the only way that I will help you. Because through digital marketing, you will be earning in dollars right in nigeria right in africa or anywhere you are in the world you'll be earning money so ladies and gentlemen let's go and watch it thanks here we go e-commerce offers tons of business opportunities whether you're already a business owner or interested in becoming one here's what you need to know about e-commerce E-commerce refers to the selling and buying of products or services online. You have two main options to start selling your products online. Run your own e-commerce website or list your products on an online marketplace. Having your own e-commerce website is like owning a physical store. When online shoppers visit your website, they can only browse through your products. Some of the most popular e-commerce website builders are Shopify, BigCommerce, and Weebly. On the other hand, listing your products on an online marketplace is like selling in malls or in grocery stores. Shoppers can browse through various products from different sellers to choose the best deal. Among the popular online marketplaces are Amazon, Alibaba, and eBay. E-commerce has four main types. Business to consumer. An online retail store that sells directly to end consumers. This can be done both on an e-commerce website and an online marketplace. Business to Business A company that sells products or services directly to another company. Businesses that sell to other businesses usually sell their offerings through their own website. Consumer to Business A freelancer that offers writing services to business owners through websites like Upwork or Fiverr. Consumer to Consumer a consumer that sells new or pre-loved products to another consumer through websites like eBay or Etsy. Another aspect to consider with e-commerce is the business model because it will determine how you'll generate income from selling online. Here are the different types of e-commerce business models. Drop shipping. 
This model allows you to accept customer orders without keeping actual products in stock. Rather, a third party fulfills and delivers the order to the customer on your behalf. Subscription Services A subscription service lets you send products to a customer over a specific time, weekly, monthly, or yearly, depending on your customer's chosen plan. This model works well for the food, fashion, health and lifestyle, and entertainment industries. Examples are Netflix and Spotify. Wholesaling Wholesaling is the practice of selling goods in bulk to retailers at discounted rates. The retailer then sells the goods to end consumers at profitable prices. Retailing Retailing is the opposite of wholesaling. Rather than selling goods in bulk, you sell goods in lesser amounts, or even by piece, to end consumers. You can earn through this model by adding a markup to the discounted items you got from wholesalers. Private Labeling In this model, a third-party manufacturer produces the product on behalf of your brand. All exclusive rights are granted to your business, entitling you to sell the produced materials as your own. Tips to get started Determine your business model to find out what you can manage and how to make profits. Figure out the focus of your business through product and niche research. Determine where you will sell. An e-commerce website, via an online marketplace, or both. Know your target audience so you can deliver your messages to the right people. Register your e-commerce business and brand name. Apply for all the necessary licenses and permits to make your business legal. Prepare a solid business plan which must include the financial and inventory management aspects of your store. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and ring the bell for more content. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.